that a legendary? Yes! Let's go! We have some major breaking news. This Tuesday, March 15th, we're gonna have some breaking news to announce to the NFL all day. Now they've left us with a nice little teaser. We're gonna get into all that stuff. I'm gonna show you guys what we know. I'm gonna tell you what they've told us. And then I'm gonna leave you guys with some speculation on what's to come this Tuesday. Whatever it is, I can tell you this much. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be huge. There are a few tips I'm gonna give you guys to prepare before this Tuesday's announcement comes. Before we get into this big announcement, we're gonna open up a few of these week 18 standard packs. Now before I get to all that, I just want to say if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Those two things really do help out the channel big time. So I would really appreciate it if you could just help your boy out a little bit. It'll cost you nothing. It'll help us both. All right, so we decided to roll the dice this week. We ended up picking up two standard packs and one premium pack. I already know what you're thinking right now. That's okay. Save those thoughts and opinions to yourself. I've already heard them, but I missed out last week. So I figured this week we'll go ahead and roll the dice. Let's open this guy up right here. Let's see what the jump is. TJ Watt, a nice sack, make the stop series. Okay, not too bad for a first pick, you know? I know you Steelers fans love to see those Ravens guys get taken advantage. So there we go, TJ Watt for the first pick of the day. And a nice little middle of the pack, mint number. 5,300 Comet out of a 7,000 limited edition series. Can't be upset about that. TJ Watt, I believe he got the defensive player of the year. Or was that his brother? That was TJ Watt, right? Moving down the list. Moving down the list. What else do we got in the pack? DeAndre Swift running back for the Detroit Lions. You know, this guy's got some moves. Just a Bay Series pack, but it's a touchdown to score on the Green Bay Packers. They beat the Packers this game? How the heck did they beat the Packers? You know, nice little low mint count, 10,000 addition, 27-20. Moving on down the list. We got three packs to open up, so we're not gonna add too much anticipation to these ribbons. Drew Lock. you know? At least we got ourselves a nice quarterback. I don't know, uh, he just got traded actually. Yeah, they had that Russell Wilson trade, so maybe he's going to be the starting quarterback for the uh, Seahawks this year. Maybe Seattle will. Yeah, Seattle's not doing nothing. Let's be honest. I'm sorry, Seattle fans, but your, your time is up. It's Drew Locke's time. All right, nice little uh, one, two, three, three digit. All right, not too bad. Could have been a little bit worse. You know, so we're happy with those picks. We got the TJ Watt. We got a quarterback and a running back. Not too bad. Not the best. Not the best. All right, let's go. Now we are opening up our second pack of the day, our second standard pack. So far, we can feel that heat on the back of our neck right now. We're starting to get burned. Maybe we'll get saved with this second standard pack. What's inside? Maybe we're going to pull a rare. Let's get underway. Who we got? Who we got? Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton. Quarterback for the Chicago Bears. You know, Justin Fields, I'm pretty sure he's got that position locked in. I don't think we're going to see too much of Andy Dalton, but he's a veteran quarterback. Maybe there's some old Bengals fans that are going to be happy to have this guy in their collection one day. Who knows? We'll see. It's part of the Bay Series. Ah, not too special with the Mint. So, this is the quarterback. We saw that for five bucks. Moving down the list. Second in a row. Here we go. Scotty Miller. All right, so we had some technical difficulties right there. Might cut out a little bit, but we got your boy Scotty Miller. We got your boy Scotty Miller with a nice little handoff pass by the Go TB12 wide receiver play. Had a little corner of the end zone touchdown. There's a lot of Buccaneer fans out there these days. That bandwagon's been rolling along for the past few years, so maybe somebody's gonna buy this card up, or maybe we'll hang on to it. Third pick of the day. This pack's kind of weak so far. Maybe we can get saved here with another Andy Dalton. Who doesn't want two Andy Daltons in the same pack? Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. I'm so excited to see I got two Andy Daltons. Yes, yes, all right. I've got a feeling that this premium pack's just gonna be even better. All right, so I've done the calculations. These last two packs have equaled out a big pile of hot trash, hot garbage. We've got burned pretty bad here. So if this premium pack doesn't save us somehow with some miracle, 
then I might not even post this video. So you guys might not even see this stuff. Let's see what's inside, please. We got a guaranteed rare here, possible chance of a legendary. Let's see what's inside. Let's see what's inside. Card number one. Melvin Ingram. Okay. Nice little tackle. Why, now why is this a moment? Come on. You guys gotta get it. Pick your moments wisely. This is just stupid. Moving down the list. Moving down the list. We haven't seen a rare yet. Maybe there's a legendary. Oh, another Scotty Miller. So far, we've got two Scotty Millers and two Andy Daltons out of three packs. Who's not excited to hear about that? You know, that's definitely gonna want me to get inside this next week's pack pool. Is that a legendary? Yes! Let's go! Let's go, Kansas City Chiefs legendary. Now it's a Nick Bolton. It's a Nick Bolton, but it's a legendary. What's he doing? How is this a legendary play? Is he gonna take that back for a touchdown? Is he gonna take that back for a touchdown? It looks like he's taking that back for a touchdown. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got a three badge legendary. Let's go! Now I don't know how much this sells for, but it's gotta be at least at least 500 bucks, right? At least 500 bucks. We're going to look it up later. But that right there, that's the moment we've been waiting on right there. We were so close. I was so close to just going upstairs and taking a nap. The first two packs, two Andy Dogs, two Scotty Millers, hot trash. We were sleeping. We were already thinking about going out to McDonald's for dinner or something like that. We were getting so upset. But you know what? Tonight we're going to a steakhouse. We're going to go straight to a steakhouse. Something nice. We're going to put ketchup on that steak too. Andy Dalton. Let's see what these three badges are. All day debut, rookie debut, and rookie year for Nick Bolton. Let's go Kansas City Chiefs. I'm rooting for you guys. I'm rooting for this guy to be a star. I'm going to hang on here, but guess what? We got one card left to go. I'm going to calm down a little bit. That's just a little excited. I really wanted that legendary. I just had a feeling he was going to be there. Number 32. Let's see what this last one is. Maybe this will wipe that smile right off of my face. Cincinnati Bengals. Fumble recovery. The year they went to the Super Bowl. Can't be upset about that. Ooh, look at that little shake on Baker Mayfield. They pick it up. Do they take it back for the touchdown? They sure do. That's an easy six points all day long. There we go. Fumble recovery for make the stop series. This is again one of those 7,000 limited edition moments. So we're happy to get one of those. Well, most importantly, we're happy to get that Nick Bolton, baby. Let's go. All right, so taking a look at this Nick Bolton on the marketplace right now, it looks like that the uh, the lowest floor for this moment is $1,200. And then it jumps up pretty quick to $1,800, $1,900, $2,000. I'll tell you what, I'm definitely 100% hanging on to this here moment here. I mean, it's a rookie card. It's rookie debut, rookie of the year, NFL all day debut, and it's a legendary, and it's my first ever legendary ever. So we're definitely not selling but if we were to sell this moment right now for a quick floor of $1,200, I would say we just definitely at least maybe tripled our money. But we're going to hang on for the long term. We're going to hang on for the long term. Recent prices, looks like this thing just sold yesterday for $1,900. All right, now we just got that legendary epic pool from our premium pack. Maybe we can get into the point of today's video. What's coming up this Tuesday on March 15th? Unless you guys have been living under a rock just a few days ago, the NFL made an announcement. I think it was straight from Twitter. They released a little trailer of Patrick Mahomes giving us a quick little sneak peek, a quick little glance of what's coming this Tuesday on March 15th. I'm going to hit the play button here. I'm going to let you guys get a little peek of this trailer. I don't want to get an infraction for copyright, so we're just going to play it a little bit. You guys let me know what you think. Here we go. Oh, that's sweet right there. All right. We'll I'll stop it that. right there. That's pretty hype. Nice little cliffhanger to leave us waiting for a few days on what the big announcement's going to be. Now, like I said, I've been asking everybody in the Discord and the Facebook groups on the forums, what do you guys think's going to happen? Some people think that they're going to be releasing the NFL All Day app for your mobile phones. Some people are saying that this is going to be a big moment for Patrick Mahomes. Honestly, it's all just a shot in the dark. Nobody really knows for sure. What I think this Patrick Mahomes trailer is, is just a glimpse 
of a full NFL All Day promotion trailer that is going to be coming out this Tuesday on March 15th. I think they will be announcing the All Day open access for the entire platform. So basically what I'm saying is we got about two days of the closed beta left. I think this is going to be the release of the open access. I think they might be releasing the collector scores. Hopefully the platform's going to have a whole lot being opened up. You know, we've kind of been the guinea pigs here the last few weeks with these pack drops, which is another reason why I want to say if you've been getting some crappy packs, don't let that discourage you guys from participating in bigger pack drops here in the future. Hopefully they can get some of that algorithm fix like these two Andy Dalton's I just pulled. We don't want to see that. They need to fix. They need to put something in the algorithm to stop that from ever happening and hurting another poor soul again. I mean, come on, it's ridiculous to get two Andy Dalton's. The two biggest predictions that I personally would like to see, like I said, open access, that's going to bring in a whole bunch of new users and the collector score being added in, that's going to give people a lot more of a purpose to collect these certain moments that pertain to a certain series. For example, like the Move the Chain series, that's one of the most common series right now. If you collect every moment from the Move the Chain series, you might get a bonus of 1,500 points added to your collector score. That right there is going to drive the prices up big time for any of these special series moments. Also, they might have collections like collect your favorite team, collect your favorite position. But if you are looking for a shot in the dark on how you might be able to predict some profits before this update comes out on Tuesday, I would say go ahead and take a look at some of these undervalued series moments. If they come out with these collections and a collector score, I guarantee you people are going to be buying these things up left and right, wanting to boost up their collector score right away. Personally, just my opinion, I can see a lot of money being dumped into the marketplace this weekend after this big announcement comes. I think there's the potential that we could add a whole lot of users that have been waiting to come into the closed beta, but also just NFL fans. If Patrick Mahomes comes out and tweets out this new suspected trailer for the NFL all day and people realize they don't have to wait to get into the closed beta, they can just check it out. They can start participating right away. I think that's going to be huge. It's basically going to be opening up the floodgates for a whole lot of potential new users. That's going to add big time to meet the supply and demand. There's going to be a whole lot more demand for the supply. That's going to raise up the prices big time. Best advice I can say is if you think there's any undervalued moments and you guys have been waiting for the floor to keep on dropping before you guys buy some of those undervalued moments you've been looking at, I would say this weekend might be your last chance to do so. There's a big chance that the prices could spike up as soon as this open access comes out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Am I way off track here? You guys agree with me a little bit? What are some big things you guys would like to see come out this Tuesday? I don't care. Tell me if you like the video. Tell me if you hate the video. Tell me if you're upset that you got burned with this pack drop and I just got me a legendary. Either way, I appreciate you coming back to the channel. I got a lot more content coming out in the future. We got some NFL coverage coming soon. That's going to be it for today's video. Until next time, peace out.